But it's a Harris Hill poll. It's uh, basically it's the 2020 National Democratic primary poll. It has Biden, Joe Biden at 46 percent and trailing really far behind is Bernie Sanders at 14 percent and then Pete Buttigieg at 8 percent. Matt, what caused this very great difference? Because the week that Joe Biden declared that he actually was going to be running for president, uh, Biden and Bernie were very close within single digits of each other. What caused this uh, great divide? I think there are, there are a couple of things. First is that Biden had a relatively strong rollout. And he was reminding people of basically Obama, who in the Democratic Party is still incredibly popular, uh, you know, successful two-term president, and uh, is successful in getting elected. Uh, so right now, I think that the question that Democratic voters have to face is electability and how much they want the White House back. Even if they're not the most enthusiastic about Biden, per in particular, they want somebody they think they, they can win. And for some reason, um, they think that that person is Biden. I disagree strongly. I don't think that's their strongest candidate by a long shot. But again, he, he's kind of, you know, uh, uh, a proxy for Obama, maybe running for a third time. And I think that there, there's a certain uh, sanity, if you will, in the Democratic Party that they have to get somebody who can win. Maybe not uh, their favorite candidate, maybe the person who doesn't reflect their own personal views, uh, most accurately, who's probably somebody like Bernie Sanders. And I think there's also something going on here in terms of just name ID, because if you look at some of the other candidates down the list, uh, a lot of them are just not very well known, and this is still the phase of the, you know, this is a national, the poll you're right. citing is a national poll. There are no national primaries. These happen on a state-by-state -state basis on as a trickle, starting with Iowa and then New Hampshire, so it will give some of these lower you know, lower rated candidates in this current national poll, uh, time to develop and to focus their energies in a small market like Iowa. But uh, it, really what it comes down to is name ID and enthusiasm for somebody who they believe is electable and who right. reminds them right, of the Right, because of he's Obama a contrast years. in a sense. I mean, I consider Joe Biden to have a terrible resume. All of the failures of the Obama administration and how damaging his policies were to the American people. Joe Biden was right there cheering. He was part of that. So they're his responsibilities. But at the same time, when you, can, when you do compare him to someone like Bernie Sanders, he doesn't go around touting uh, his praise for communists and his socialist ideology. Biden does not compare to Bernie Sanders. Two other interesting notes from these polls. First of all, in this Harris Hill poll, the women running in the Democratic primary, there are four of them, the combined total out of 100 percent, their combined total of support is only 15 percent. These, uh, these, these old white men in the Democratic primary has re have really squashed these, uh, these women candidates. So that's, there's some poetic justice or some irony there. The one other thing that I would mention, there's also a Gallup poll that shows that the approval rating of President Trump is at 46%. At this same point, other presidents, at the same point in the first term, other presidents, Carter was at 37%, Reagan was at 43%, Obama was at 44%. So President Trump's approval rating now at the same point in his term is higher than those three, which is really, really interesting.